So I think Hesperornis is probably the coolest fossil that we have in the entire chalk bed galleries. He's definitely my favorite. If we take a close look at him, we see a bunch of very unique characteristics that this group of birds evolved throughout their evolutionary history. One of the things we notice is that it doesn't really have a very clear wing. There are just a couple of bones around the shoulder where the wing would have been. But we do notice that it has very, very long, powerful legs. We're so I think that Hesperornis here is probably the coolest fossil that we have in the chalk bed galleries, and it's definitely my favorite. One of the things that makes it so unique and so awesome is that it has a lot of really special adaptations for its particular lifestyle. We know just by looking at the bones and the structure of the bones of this bird that it couldn't fly, and then it chased down fish throughout the, sea, the seaway. And so we can look at where the wing would have been. We don't really see too many bones there that could support a powerful wing. But we see very long legs that indicate that these birds were very powerful kickers. Another thing that we see is that while this bird has very unique adaptations that make it very different from other birds at the time, is that it still has teeth in its jaw showing its dinosaurian ancestry. So making it very primitive in some respects to the dinosaurs from which it evolved.